Hello everybody, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to the Pop Culture Network channel. I'm your host Chris, and with me like always, my co-host Matt. Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Far Cry 3 Classic Editions and our first impressions of it. Before we get into what we think about the game, I'll give a quick rundown about what the game is about. Far Cry 3 is set on a tropical island where the protagonist Jason and a group of his friends decide to vacation. Unfortunately, their vacation is cut short when they are captured by a group of pirates. Jason escapes, and you must play as him to rescue his friends and escape the island. Also, before we get into what we think about the game, there may be spoilers ahead, so you've been warned. The biggest thing we liked about Far Cry 3 is the villain, Vaz, or Vaze, or... Vaz. Let's go with Vaz. Vaz is an amazing villain. He is so c crazy and unhinged, and... And I just have nothing bad to say about him except for the one big thing that happens to him in the story that I won't I won't get into right now. As far as the story goes in Far Cry 3, the story is pretty good for a Far Cry game, but most people don't really play the Far Cry games uh, for the story, so it's fine. Something else that I liked in Far Cry 3 was the setting. The setting I thought looked amazing. I like the tropical island setting and it was very full of bright colors. Uh, speaking of the way Far Cry 3 looked, Far Cry 3 Classic Edition from what I've seen has been graphically improved from the original Far Cry 3 and from what most people are saying it's hard to go back to the original Far Cry 3 after playing the Classic Edition. On to the dislikes. One of the biggest problems that I personally have with almost all the Far Cry games I've played is the driving mechanics. I didn't expect Ubisoft to fix this in the re-release of Far Cry 3, but they need to address this issue in the next installment in the Far Cry series whenever that comes out. Even though they have improved on the driving mechanics in their latest entry, Far Cry 5, I still think it needs to be fine-tuned by the next installment. Another gripe I have with Far Cry 3 Classic Edition is the only thing that bothered me throughout the entire story and that was they killed off Voss way too early. Voss was a great villain. He basically is what got people to go out and buy Far Cry 3 back in the day. And they just killed him off about halfway through the story. And it was horrible because he had he was a, such a great villain. And he was built up and he had a great potential. And they wasted all that. Another complaint I have about Far Cry 3 Classic Edition. And this might be a minor one considering we got Far Cry 3 classic edition at all but they left out the multiplayer and the blood dragon dlc i know many people like myself would have loved to seen the far cry 3 blood dragon remastered but we got far cry 3 so i guess that will be good enough my fin final thoughts of F far cry 3 is is a great game with a beautiful setting that has a good story and a uh, amazing villain even though he's killed off way too early Basically, if you're a fan of all the other Far Cry games, then it's a no-brainer you should go out and buy the season pass and play it or wait until it comes out and then go and get it. If you're not a fan of Far Cry games or just recently got into Far Cry games, then I think it's, this is still worth worthwhile title that you need to consider playing. Well, that's all we have for you today, folks. Sorry it was a short video. We had another video planned this week, but we didn't get around to filming it, so we just had to film this video real quick. But please like and share this video with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be one of the first people to watch our new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Also follow us on Twitter and Instagram, like us on Facebook, and until next time, have a good day.